external rotation lag sign. We're going to elevate the patient's shoulder 20 degrees. From here, we maximally externally rotate the shoulder. And from here, hold your, your arm in place. Don't move at all when I let go. I'm gonna let go of the hand and wrist. And then if we notice the hand lags or drops forward slightly, that's a sign there may be a large full thickness rotator cuff tear of the infraspinatus. To go along with this video, I have a free cheat sheet for you. It is an evidence-based cheat sheet for rotator cuff related pain. I'll give you all the knowledge to go from a beginner to a master in understanding rotator cuff related pathology. We go over the prevalence of these conditions, as well as the anatomy. We talk about the difference between tendonitis and tendinosis. We chat about risk factors, increase your likelihood of getting rotator cuff tendinopathy and tears. We talk about the clinical presentation of this disorder and also which tendons are most commonly involved. We talk about the different stages of pathology and whether or not the rotator cuff tear heals over the course of time. Next, I give you the bullet points about rehabilitation expectations. We round out the PDF with some surgical guidelines which your patients should go on to get surgery for rotator cuff tears. So I'm going to leave a link in the description, in the show notes. Again, this is 100% free. Go ahead and download this right now.